All right, so what's, <clears throat> excuse me, what's up, my good people? Um, it's your Ashes the Rebirth. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I know it's been a little minute, not too long, but at least a week or so. Um, this grid is still up here. I'll keep it on the working altar until spirit says otherwise. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Ashes the Rebirth. Our paths have crossed because there's some form of renewing. A rejuvenation is what I feel right now, but definitely a rebirthing of who you are and your divine authentic self, a rediscovering there in that space. Um, but welcome. Yeah, um, it's high energy now that I sit here to the altar. I was really calm. Um, and now that I've pushed record, it's just like the energy has shifted. Um, so uh, we want to tap into that energy. So it's Wednesday. We are going to do the Woman Crush Wednesday, see what comes out. We're keeping the grid up here. There is a need for the Celestite here. And I mean that on a collective scale for the Divine Feminine or the Masculine who are having um, some healing work done in the Feminine energy uh, within themselves. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Very quickly, side note, um, which is crazy uh, because whatever the side note for is for masculine energy. Um, so I just want to say that real quickly because these cards are speaking like really, really, really quickly. Um, something with the divine masculine about this milk, which is in the reverse. Um, so in the upright, obviously, we would be talking about things that are going to nourish you, things that are going to be uh, good for you, things that are, uh, you know, going to build you up. Um, it being in the reverse is the idea of whoever these masculines are that are showing up in this reading. There's obviously some feminine energy that you are healing within yourself, um, or I couldn't see why spirit would put you in the the feminine reading, right? So we're talking about energy here. Um, there is the the feeling of, you know how you hear old folks say, crying over spilt milk. This is spirit talking to a masculine energy who really doesn't necessarily have spilled milk. It's like spirit saying before any of it actually spilled, I saved it. I'm, I'm the... I'm the cat to this, right? None of it's going to pour out. You see, nothing's coming out, e even of the cup here, because I've already taken from the source and given to you. It's already locked and loaded. That's what it is. Some divine masculine needs to tap into the space. Somebody's, somebody that's a male, an actual man, is dealing with the brokenness from feminine energy where there was a feeling of not being nourished, the feeling of life or the idea of nourishment being sucked out of you, which switches everything about your view and perspective in life, in love, relationships with family and friends, um, your perspective of yourself and what you can do or what you feel you can't do is coming from this view of feeling malnourished when source has said, I've already given you all that you need to make movement, divine masculine. Okay, that's a side note. So I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm just telling you that there's got to be some masculines that watch because spirit's been talking to y'all for a couple of weeks. Okay, source has already given you what you need for your nourishment. Whatever situation with the divine feminine that's broken in you and we're talking energy. So it could be an actual woman that hurts you could be your mother or auntie, uh, a female that you were in a relationship with, but it could also be the feminine energy, which has nothing to do with boy, girl, but has everything to do with the idea of how I'm feeling about myself on the inside, how I can plan and prepare things, right? Um, the kind of inner knowing, the nurturing of myself, right? That's something we all have inside of us, that feminine energy and the masculine, right? But this is for a man who is broken and feeling malnourished and spirit said, nothing's coming out. It ain't spilt. It ain't spilt milk, bruh. It's not going to spill out. What I've given to you will always be in the upright. Nothing can spill out. It don't matter how they jar it, how they shake it up, how they turn it around, how they try to deplete you of it all. I am the cap and the lid to this. So when I say it can drip out, it can drip. And because I ain't say so, it's going nowhere. Keep your mind where it needs to be. Okay? That amethyst there in the shape of a heart. So to the divine... Um, I won't even say divine masculine because that's not for divine masculine energy. That's for a man. Okay. Um, the, and there must be some men that, that do watch the channel. Um, 
And I... Oh, I was getting ready to say, okay, uh, because typically up, you know, reverse, I don't really do too much of. This is, so we've got Volcano here in the reverse, and we've got Teacup in the reverse. And we've had Teacup for us before Divine Feminine. Um, I know I'm tripping. I didn't say if you're true to this and not new to this, y'all welcome. Y'all already know y'all welcome if you've been here before, but I just want to make sure I say it. And I felt that energy like, girl, you tripping. You didn't even tell the people because... They've been in the game. They know what's going on, okay? <laughs> so welcome, y'all, yeah? So we got Volcano Reverse. We got Teacup Reverse. Okay. All right, Spirit revealed to us. Uh, and I also here keep us mindful uh, of what we need to be reminded of and know in this moment. Um because the energy here in this reading is very high. And so I want to make sure that I get the message out and get the word out as clear um, as it should be. So with the volcano spirit, please speak to us. What is this volcano all about for us in the reverse for the divine feminine? <clears throat> Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's something in this energy of things being poured out. My. Is this what you're telling me? This could be for the whole collective, but this reading is so like. Let me make sure, y'all. Um, Because this is we do this for the Women Crush Wednesday. This is a continuation of the side note for the masculine energies. Um, so perhaps this message is not for the collective divine feminine, but for the divine feminine energy that ails the male. This is spirit bringing together literally. Didn't even tell me till now, okay? This is spirit literally energetically bringing things into a healed, aligned space with the brokenness of the divine masculine, whether it be his feminine or masculine energy, as well as the feminine, right? Because this would be just like the milk, right? Upside down. And we've got the teacup upside down just to reinforce it in case somebody didn't understand or didn't see it. So with the volcano, this is all things fire. <clears throat> but that's underneath the surface. But right here with it being in the reverse isn't such a bad thing because here we're saying that all the fire is here at the top. Down here, what's coming out, what we can see is all the ashes. You understand? Spirit is saying you're seeing the ashes, but didn't I tell you you were here with the rebirth? You understand? The mantle that's on my life and you coming here to the page is not by, or the channel is not by accident. You understand? Whether or not you believe in synchronicities or not, spirit going to be. I told you all about the OG truth anyway, right? Going nowhere. Cares Less about whether you trust it or not, whether you agree with it or not. Truth is still going to be what truth is. So even with all the fiery things of life that have burnt you the same way with the divine masculine when it's the milk, the things that were supposed to nourish you, it felt like it wasn't happening. But what's oozing out of here is all the ashes, all the smoke from the remnants of the fact that, oh, you thought you were good. That's why black tourmaline's here. You thought that I was going to have nothing left. You thought that you had depleted me. Somebody out here. And this is ruthless because it's Woman Crush Wednesday. But this is healing between masculine and feminine energy because there has been a lot of you are not enough. A something and someone wanting to deplete you of your energy. Um, deplete you of your very spirit. The thing that keeps you going, right? Like if, if we're thinking about the idea of the milk or thinking about the idea of the cup, this is being filled up. This would be like your, your, your spirit, your soul, yourself, right? This is what you're filling up. Whatever spills over, other people can get. Someone is so, so, so worried about... You getting into the fulfillment of self because it makes them feel and see themselves for who they actually are. You understand? You being in this mentality of things being shifted around in the wrong way gives them the upper hand, whoever they are. When I say they, I'm talking about feminine energy. 
okay? I'm, I'm giving it to you how spirit is giving it to me, okay? These are divine feminines, okay? These are some women that people have been in relationships with. These are mothers. These are aunties, okay? Um, for somebody, it could be a sister, okay? I'm just saying, some feminine in your life, an actual female, woman, okay, is who I'm saying the perpetrator is because that's what I feel like, okay? Um, it's a feminine energy that's done this, twisting and manipulating of this thing, okay? On the bottom of the deck, no lie, is Agatha Christie, which is all about trickery, okay? Um, all about the trickery, what, what things are going on. Um, the doll card is also here. Puppet master. Who's controlling? Who's doing? What's going on? You understand? We've got Emily Dickinson here, which is all about the soul. This is all about perspective. The things that look like they're dying, this is Emily Dickinson's space. You understand? The things that appear to be death or what I write my poetry about. So that you can learn about life, even if you learn about the spirit of peace around it or whatever. But what it's looking like ain't a death situation. You're not malnourished. You're not losing of anything. You understand? These are creating the ashes. Don't forget the channel that you're here with the community in which you're here. In love with, you know, in the space of love, the conduciveness that that uh, that that is love, because here underneath of Emily Dickinson is the elixir in the upright toxicity. Somebody thought that they had the goods to do. Somebody thought that they were tricky enough to get this thing off the ground and get it going. But what you did, number one, with the first example, spirit said, I'm, I'll be the lid. I'll be the captain of this thing. I say when it runs out and when it don't. And right now we stay in nourished because that's what we do. So even though you're trying to tip the tip the cup over, that Emily Dickinson, this literary uh, ancestor that's coming through to speak to us is saying, hey, don't forget this is ashes, the rebirth. Meaning something has to go for something new to come in. And although all the fires of life tried to burn you, honey, they tried it. Okay. You thought for a minute that they had one. You understand? That's why you tapped in now. Here. These are the ashes that are left. This lets us know that you were here. You thought you was going to wipe me all the way out. You, you thought it was going to look like the platter was lit clean. You understand? Everything poured out and keeping it upside down just in case the little drips were still in there. You want everything gone. That's not what happened. My ashes are still here. That's a remnant that there was life once here. Things can really be built. You understand? Things can really get going. Before I started the reading... I've got a, a talisman that sits on the altar. And I'm not sure if y'all can see it over here or not. Um, I had sage in a different place and some of the leaves were, were speaking and the energy was like putting them on the talisman. This is for you all for this reading. It's kind of like bringing up the idea of the sage of a thing, right? Very scholarly, very wise, very in tune to who I am, the rebirth, bringing me into who I really am. You'll not make a mockery out of me. You, you'll not make a, 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 a duplicate of me. You'll not walk around trying to take everything that is me so that you can duplicate me, imitate me. You understand? The person, the female who, who has done it or is in the, in the moment of doing it is full aware of why they're doing it. Spirit is making you aware of it. Whatever seems like it's transitioning you away from what feels innate and more spiritually charged for you, stick to it even if it looks like it's death because this is just trickery. This is some toxic of the elixir created for you to, to see the glass as half empty as opposed to this thing be full because spirit said it's full. This thing is turned around because there needed to be a paradigm shift because you wanted me to think. That, that time was ending for me. But this time says. Oh this time only goes up to 10. You understand? Because that's a, of, a, a completion of things. This is, this, is a, this is a divine clock here. You see? And it's got 10 o'clock. Which reduces to what? The one. Which is a fulfillment of a thing. 10. The beginning of a new thing. You understand? Coming out of a thing. They thought that that's what it was. They wanted to trick you into seeing it one way. When in reality, this is what it is. We ain't come here for no tea party. You got the noose right on the table. 
You ain't coming here for us to be friends. You coming here to kill me, stab me in the back. Trickery. So you could become me or so that you could have people think certain things about me, right? So that you could have life your way. This is somebody who's very tricky. You understand? This is someone who could care less about you and more about themselves and what you are offering or not offering or what way I need to make you look so that I can look the greatness that I want to be looking at. Somebody need to tap into Miss Emily Dickinson and understand that what looks like death sometimes is a freedom and a peace because it's a new beginning. But can I see it is what spirit is saying. Do y'all understand that? I am very prayerful and mindful and hopeful that you all do really get it because this is where the reading ends. Spirit is saying, I'm giving you the word. That's what it is. Please follow suit. Divine masculine, the side note was for you, but you actually brought the word in for the divine feminine. So we're grateful for this woman crush Wednesday. Because real talk, don't woman crush Wednesday feel better, right? When when collectively we all good, right? Uh, so there we go. Black tourmalines out here for y'all so that things are protected. Keep your mind, keep your space. And when I use the word guarded, I don't mean guarded where you putting up walls. I mean being very mindful of spirit and where you are along your journey, what those ashes actually mean. Somebody needs to get that into your spirit. This is remnant that life is and can be again. You see the ending of one thing, the death of one thing becomes the life of the authenticity. You understand? Stay away from the trickery because they, they inviting you to the dinner like you good, like we sis, okay? Like we buddies, like you my man, you know what I mean? Like every, these whoever these females are, they're coming in a way where it seemed like it's going to be all things good, but they got an elixir for your ass and they're hoping to some of you harm physically, your health. Some of you spiritually, some of you emotionally, some of y'all be guarded because they come in any way they can. Or they have come any way they can. For some of you, this is a past thing and you can relate. You know who I'm talking about. For some of you, you're like, who the fuck? You better start scanning them folks, females, okay? And for some of you, this is a thing that will come. And I mean now, not no 10, 20 years down the road. I mean, spirit say, get yourself prepared now. I'm giving a word for the now, you understand? So this is for someone who's already experienced this with that female, OK, in any type of, you know, connection with that female, because, again, this I feel the presence of mothers. I feel the presence of aunties. And I don't mean that's my aunt. I mean, aunties, because somebody resonates with that word. I, there's mothers, aunties and girlfriends, wives, women that, you know, people are with, whether you're a woman or a man. OK, your flavor be women. OK. And spirit is saying those are the women that have that have this charge, that, that are in this space of trickery. These are wives, girlfriends, these are aunties, and these are mothers. Okay. I don't feel no, I don't really feel no sisters or you know what I mean? Like I, I really don't feel um I don't feel like no cousins or you know, like extended kind of thing, like not so much. I don't even feel like really like finicky girlfriends. I feel like when I say girlfriend or wife, I mean someone you've been married to or dating. Um, I feel like five, six years plus. Okay. Not no, you know, no new thing. Um, not no girlfriend that you done been with for a year. You know what I mean? It's five plus, five, six plus. So it might even be six years plus. I just hear spirit say five, six. So all right, y'all, that's that. Um, remember to be led and guided by all things pure, true, and love, and all things great and grand to be beckoned unto you. Remember in all your seek and seek yourself. In order to do that, you need to be linked up with spirit if you need help with that. Um, I am a spiritual wellness coach, right? And so that's what we do beyond this reading here on the YouTube channel. This is a platform that we utilize, but if you're really looking to dig into uh, maneuvering past the things that are being brought up in the reading having your own personal reading, and then transforming into, okay, let's get into the healing work. That's the work that I actually do, right? This is a, a venue to give people free content to get you started, to help lead and guide you. But to get into the actual work, that's when you need to hit that email that's in the description box to say, sis, like, I see the ashes. And, and I see that, like, your community is all about, you know, just what your name is, Ashes the Rebirth. 
how can I rebirth these things? Whether that's chakra alignment and balancing, whether that's, you know, um, figuring out how to maneuver through negative energy, um, whether it's you need herbal concoctions to help dismiss certain energies or bring certain things in or to help you if you're one of the people that have been um, tricked and now somehow physically your health. We have the whole apothecary, y'all. We are not just consumed by the reading. The reading is a guide to tap into the other. So if you want to know about the spiritual and wellness uh, healing products, go to the Etsy shop. You can go there and there's a lot of different things that are available there. You can also book readings there now. Um, also, um, if you haven't been on the Etsy shop in a while or you never have, it's been updated. So um, go check it out and then leave me some comments on it of things, you know, whatever you feel about it um, or, you know, products that you may be interested in because there's a lot of other business owners like myself that um, have good things. And if you're not local to my area or, you know, something can't be done virtual and there's someone that I'm connected to that's in your area, that's what the community is about, right? Um, and so I want to make sure that that's available. Somebody needs to hear that it's okay for you to be slow and steady, okay? Um, I hear that whole kid tale, slow and steady wins the race. Somebody needs to understand that. There's no need for you to feel like you got to rush. What is yours is yours, okay? Number one. Number two, spirit says slow and steady wins the race, okay? Um, so that's that, y'all. Um, I'm going to let that go. Spirit is saying that somebody's going to want to run real fast in this situation. And Spirit is saying, take it easy, okay? Because you don't want to mistake who the trickery one is. And you're running away from, you know, something that ain't a problem, but running into the embrace of the one that is the tricky one. So slow and steady, it's okay. Allow Spirit to maneuver what's going on here, okay? Because if someone led you to the sickness and the trickery, you probably are not the one that's going to be able to decipher, oh, it's that person. So you need to slow and steady and hear what Spirit is saying, okay? That's that, y'all. I'm out. It's been real. It's your girl, Ashes of Rebirth. Peace. I share.